Well, because of Mr. Oz, my friend. <clears throat> this is the restored grill that was all rusted up. And he has requested that I attempt to do. <clears throat> and I forgot to mix it. That's all right. And I attempt to do burritos again. So. We're going to give that a shot. I had a piece of Angus. You can see cooking. We'll give that a shot. Hey, improvise. So this is the restored Blackstone. This is not my Blackstone. This thing was all rusted up. Turned out a halfway decent video about it. I think I forgot cheese. What is a burrito without cheese, right? I'm going to have to do something about that. Yeah, we're going to have to edit this video. That's for darn sure. And the stack of onions over here. Another friend of mine's advice. Hopefully he's around and can sound off a little bit. Leprechaun TV, also a fellow Clevelander, Blackstone cook, professional, guy knows his business. <coughs> yeah, those might be a little too big for bite size. I'm going to back this thing way off, I'm going to shut off half of it turn these two down I want to cut those a little bit tighter and I need cheese I'll be back all right sharp cheddar works yeah let's get these just a bit tighter the burrito you want to bite into it Not necessarily have to eat your way through it. I didn't cut these quite small enough, in my opinion, to enjoy the burrito. So, you know, some of you are looking at this going, What are you doing? You're taking a steel blade directly to the blackstone. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It will not hurt it. Besides, if your spatula is that sharp, that it can slice through meat, um, you better check and make sure you don't need adult supervision to be out playing with anybody. Because I know I do. Some of you will understand that joke. Some of you won't. Yeah, it's starting to dry out on me. Wow, what a nice grill. Blackstone, you did a good job back in 2012 when this thing was made. This thing's awesome. And that's on low. Wow. What did I do? There it is. Just peanut oil. You just don't want this to dry out too fast. You know what I mean? Alright. Last time I did this, went a little too quick. Waiting on the eggs, I think. And yes, I had to walk away at a puffing issue.
if you know me and my helpers. That 17 year old husky. Yeah, she requires just a little bit more care. Blind and deaf. They gotta pay a little bit closer attention to her than the cooking, I think. But that's just me. That's just me. Alrighty. I want to make sure I fold air into this as I go. I kind of want it to do an omelet thing over top of the meat. There it is. There it is. Not hot enough. There we go. Get that meat wrapped in there nice. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. What do you think? Yep, still foldable. That's what we want. That's what we want. Just starting to bubble a little bit. Perfect. Now. Now. Oh. Can't have too many of these, right? Yep, perfect. Come on, hold over. There you go. Hold this in. Nope, don't even need to do that. What I do want to do... Get more cheese. And we're done. You guys have a great day.